Leap of faith! This is definitely not dangerous at all. Nova, did you actually know that the, the DQ Leaf is making a return in uh, in the new Zelda game? No, I did not. Yeah, well, it's the sailcloth, but it, it functions ident identically. Is that is identically a word? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, it functions identically to uh, the DQ Leaf. So that's neat. Okay, now that we're on this island, which I was going to show earlier, but we had other things to do, I can fly up here. And there's a switchy switch, which we can't get any other way. Tingle might be able to get it, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, I forgot to show that detail. Oh, look look on his mailbag. It's the it's an Octorok from the original game. Oh, yeah. So cool. <laughs> who jumps like that? Seriously, who jumps like that? He does. Okay. <laughs> I'll buy that. Just him, though. Just him. He's... He's in like a forum, www. Uh, dot ner, Jump like me. Ner dot net. That seagull is huge. Let's go in here. Either the seagull is huge or Link is tiny. I think it's a combination of both. A nightclub. A fight club. It's a fight club. Hi. Ugh, you're creepy. So, you were a member this whole time. Awesome. Hey, and thanks to you, I got in and became a, ma a member too. A member. Check it out, I gave this guy a pictograph and he gave me this figurine in return. Talk about cool. This'll be all the rage. I can only assume he's evil. He looks evil. S this no, is he a doesn't. Cool place. Really. This is a really cool place. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to the Nintendo Gallery, Figurine Palace. Heart. Heart. This is your first time here, isn't it? Did one of our members provide you with an introduction? I hope. Ah, oh, well, no worries one way or the other. We've been losing members due to a, the lack of gim due to our lack of gimmicky attractions. But we don't but we don't worry. True fans know we're the coolest. So anyway, do you know what it takes to become a member of our club? Is this club stoic? These figurines we have on display here have all been made using pictographs provided by our devoted members. If you bring me the master sculptor, a pictograph that steals my breath away, then you'll become a member, and you'll be able to, you'll become able to view our collection in the galleries. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be nice? He, he's a big talker. So, do you have a pictograph? No, he do, we do not. But we do have. He has some stuff. First of all, there's the Keaton mask. There's the Goron mask, and there's the uh, bunny bunny hood. And is that the stone mask for Majora's mask? And that's neat. Uh, next is, or are, the Lon Lon milk bottles from Ocarina of Time. Uh, what else is here? What is that pale shaped round thing hanging from the ceiling? I have no clue. Get a closer look. I can't. Move to your right. Why? No clue what it is, but it's, it's interesting. Now, this area is what the Picto Box is all about. If we get picto pictographs of different enemies, we can bring them here and get a, uh, we can get sculptures of those things. That don't really help us accomplish anything. It's a really cool, it's a really cool achievement, I think, just to have all those little sculptures in here, all of these, all of these throwbacks to previous games, but unfortunately, you don't earn anything from it. Although sometimes the, in the little bios for each s sculpture, you can learn things about the characters. Yeah, but, but you don't earn anything it. from it, so uh, we're just gonna leave, sadly. This does not come into play for 100%. All right, that being shown, I would like to show one more thing before we leave the Forest Haven. This is Hollow's Forest Potion Shop. You must not have many customers because it's the middle of the forest. But if we go in here, we can get something special, which eagle-eyed viewers noticed was already in my possession. I have a potion, which is among the like that we've never encountered before. And if we talk to this guy, he will t say something cool. Swordsman, thank you so much for bringing Makar back to us. And now that we have completed our ceremony, I can go back to researching my potions. By the way, did you find any Boko Baba seeds? If you have any, set them to, to your stuff and show them to me. And if we do so, he will give us a potion for free. Super awesome. That's a Boko Baba seed, isn't it? If I mix some of these up, I can make the kind of super replenishing potion that would help you, swordsman. 
Alright, I'm going to use four of your seeds to create a super, super replenishing potion. Please wait just a moment. So yeah, if we give f him four of these otherwise completely useless things, he gives us a blue potion. And this is the easiest way in the game to get this type of potion. And the cheapest. And this is the second best potion in the game. Yeah, it is. So, I guess I should explain it. Red potions, which are we, have we had yet? We haven't had a potion yet. No, you didn't want to get one. Yeah, okay. Also, why do they waddle like that? Rewind the video and watch that. <laughs> they just they shake from side to it's side so violently. It's so cute, though. And they also jingle. Why do they jingle? Reasons unknown. Uh, but yeah, the red potion would restore our, our health, our hearts. A green potion would simply restore our magic meter. But a blue potion restores both, which is super awesome. Look at that. I have two blue potions for the cost of eight useless things. That is worth it. All right, now if we go down the super awesome, fun, fast water slide... Woo! Sweet. We can go down here and leave this island not for good. It's not for good. But for a while. And there's a post box. Or a mail. A mail in a post box. One mail. Good morning! Letters for Link, we have one letter. Here's, a, here's your letter. And he'll spit on us to reveal... <clears throat> Dear Link, if you are reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I am very sorry to leave you to let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do so much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, because that's a natural inclination for post boxes to wiggle, please look inside them, because that's your next natural inclination. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I have included a gift for you with my letter, in the hope that it might help you. Please accept this small token. I look forward to the day that we may meet again. May fortune fill your wings. From Kamali's father. We got a piece of heart! I guess you could say that that apology was very heartfelt. Oh! Ooh, where are you at? <clears throat> that didn't happen. So this place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Link, you must get the remaining pearl. It lies to a place northeast of here. We must set sail immediately. All right, now we're we're setting sail. We are going to an isle called Great Fish Island. It's interesting to say the least. But on the way, I would like to get two things. One thing. One thing. I would like to get one thing. And once again, we will be getting all of the the uh, the fish dudes, the mermen. I believe they're called mermen. Uh, we'll be getting them on the way off screen, so you don't have to worry about that. And from this point out, I'll be cutting out much of the nitty gritty of the stuff. So, with that out of the way, let the travel commence. Uh, Nova, are we in a squadron yet? Am I missing the island that it's, we're... It's called a quadrant, Whatever. Not a squadron. Am I missing the island? Hold on, I'm... No, 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 don't hold on. You made me miss the tra... No, I didn't. Oh. Okay, where are we going? Is this the island? Um, I'm checking right now. No, it is not the island. No, I'm not, I'm not checking that. I'm saying, look at your map. Am I in the squadron? Quadrant. In a quadrant. Yeah. Okay. There's the fish. Let me get You're this. You're always in a quadrant. Uh, you, you don't know what I was asking. Maybe I don't know what I was asking. Okay. Let's go by this very attractive island and go ahead and get the fishy. Oh, now he's jumping over here. This is a very attractive island. Look at this. It's all sea fairy. Oh, there's like a pineapple on the top. You know what it reminds me of? What? The island on Animal Crossing population <gasps> growing. It totally does. It totally does. Crossover. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, let's avoid the cyclone. Can we avoid the cyclone? Also, have I, have I not pointed out how ridiculous it is that a, a boat can jump? Why did I never point that out? It's ridiculous. How am I jumping? He's a magical boat, you remember? But there's nothing on the bottom for her to jump with. He's just like, oh, um, 
Did I mention my special power? Link's like, no. I can jump. Just pound your foot on the ground and I'll jump. That's no weirder than the fact that he talks. Point taken. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up now. Uh, where are we going? We're going this way. Okay, we're... The quadrant's here, right? It's right here. I think. The green mark is you, and the blue mark is where we want to be. Okay, so this this is the quadrant? Squadrant? Quadrant. quadrant. What is a squadron? It's a thing. That is the size of a military group, I believe. Oh, okay. A squad. Okay, quadrant, we are here. We just have to look out for, is it another submarine? Mm-hmm. Okay, another submarine. I think it's to the south of the island. Okay, I see the fishy. If you can call that. Way that. over there. But oh, there, there it is. is. There it is. We will not be getting the sea platform. In fact, we won't really be getting any of them. Unless they're specifically very important. I personally enjoyed the sea platforms. Especially the w where there's multiple right by each other. And you get to fly between them. That's those really are cool. Fun. And we will be showing those off. But these singular ones that all they have is a red rupee. Those are completely worthless. Some of them have some considerably difficult enemies on them too. Yeah. But this, this is not worthless. This is very good as far as as these things go. Last time we encountered... Oh, stupid man. Go away. Go away. Thank you. This particular submarine is probably one of the best ones behind the one we got with the bottle. Not only having a moblin inside, but it has... Wait, use the grappling hook and get his skull necklace for later. Okay, thank you. Really, are you trying to hit me? That doesn't work. Go ahead and poke me. Oh! Oh! oh friends! Lots of them! Okay, can I get the friend? Okay, you're dead. You're gonna swing at me, and I'm gonna kill you. Die! Thank you for dying. Come here. Thank you. Another one? If I remember correctly, there are quite a few moblins on this submarine. You are a bad friend. <laughs> this is so mean. Oh, uh, skull necklace. No, it's fine. I'll get it. <laughs> this is so bad. Like, how is this even... This isn't even fair. You never got a chance, poor... You bully. Poor man. Okay, you can follow the fate of your brethren. Follow the fate of your brethren. Follow the fate of your brethren. Oh, snap. How do you miss? And die again. This is, that was called prison rules, people. <laughs> prison rule... The, the, the rule of prison rules is that there are no rules. It's whoever has the bigger guns... I think. They have guns in prison? Apparently. I, uh, I've never been. Well, it, I've never been for more than a week. I always escaped. <laughs> they can't hold me down. We got a heart! So, because we faced, we overcome, overcame great odds, does that mean that we get to earn a purple heart? Hmm, 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 hmm. The heart puns are so good. Oh, look at that. Treasure. It's pixel perfect. My mark is exactly on top of the X. Nice. That the King of Red Lions And I got there. a treasure, and this is going to be the theme of all sea travel. It's going to be kind of montage heavy, because why would we show the entire travel, point A to point B? It's best just to show the highlights, what quadrant we're in, and cut out the rest. Red rupee, not even worth it. But that goes into what I wanted to talk about, and that is I have a rule. Where, wait, where's Merman? Merman? You see him? Why don't you use the horse whistle and bring him to you? If only we're... Merman! Get over here! But yeah, a rule that is going to be applied to all sea travel from here on out. Okay, good. I got him. Whenever we see a ring of light, we're going to be getting it. Okay. A, a treasure. Unless we have, like, full rupees, or we know specifically that it's a silver rupee, we are going to be getting it because it saves us a lot of trouble for tracking down heart pieces later, and that way we don't have to be confused between all of the different charts that we've got. 
It just provides clarity for the Let's Play and a constant income. Okay, let's let's continue on. I like this part in the game. Now this is this island is what are they called? The they're a reef. Eye reefs. Yeah, these are the eye reefs, and they're they're basically fortresses. Yeah, they're miniature fortresses. <gasps> oh, I start. And each one is named by the number of little islands inside of it. So six eye reef, five eye reef, and so on. Yeah, and they have they have bomb ships in them. Please don't hit me. Thank you. They have bomb ships inside of them that will shoot you, along with can or turrets that will also hit you. They're scary, and also they're unbeatable for the time being. We cannot defeat them. But typically, they yield some pretty pretty impressive treasure. Purple rupee with 200. <sighs> Holy small fry. I will kill your family and also take your soul to be my own. <laughs> my name is also Sean Connery. <laughs> and I am a fish now. First I was, a, I was an old man with an umbrella. And then I was a dragon. And now I am a fish. That's actually a pretty <laughs> good impression. It's not bad, actually, and I've never done that before. So I will give you a map, and you will go about your merry way. And never speak to me again. And bring your sea hat friend away from me. Hey. Get it out. Look, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Odd transition. And it's suddenly nighttime? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very awkward transition. Well, what is the meaning of this? The, the island, it is better than it was before? Yes. We are too late. We, we knew we had precious little time, but I n never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jabun once lived here, but there is no sign of him. Oh, oh there, Link! This guy's everywhere. Or rather, the mailmen are everywhere. So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Hi, Phoenix, right? <laughs> are you by chance seeking the great spirit, Jabun? Or Jabu Jabu? I'm sorry to report to you that Jabun can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this, too, is the work of the Shadow and Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jabun was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born. On outset. I'll kill him! <laughs> <laughs> Yet even if you were to go to outset now, you would not be able to meet Jabun. Or see. The cave where he hides is, is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought of, for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for outset and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, doing what? I do not know. If you wish to see Jabun, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else bo boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers from dark clouds and rain. Velu must have been right when he asked me to bring word of, to, of Jabun to you. He called this island Cursed. <laughs> cursed is written in blood. <laughs> Link's blood. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jabun, so my task is complete. Link's like, I just don't want to dry off, man. Do you have a towel? No? Okay. So, this place is rather cool. You guys know that my favorite part of Earthbound was the area with Threed when there were zombies. And that was cool because there were there were evils there. There what were zombies. Do, what do zombies have to do with Great Fish Isle? It was a dark it's a dark area in the game, and this is also a dark part of the game, and I like it. So, Jabun has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jabun hides. Rito. 
<laughs> Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there and kill them? Okay. Now, before we go and kill them, because we have to do that, uh, I would like to go over here. Is it really that difficult for you? This reminds me of the island in what the game? Lego Island. Okay, let's get out. Now, I don't know what time we are in the, in the video, but I assume we're actually not that... Wait, what? Okay, Get Tingle has found That's something awkward. on top of here. He says, we are not alone. Tingle, you're such a strange man. Okay, <laughs> now if we run up this way, besides the contrast being kind of low so it's hard to see, uh, we can go up here. And there is a withered Deku tree, which we'll get to much later in the game. I won't even talk about it now. But also, there's a place. Do we go over there from here? Where do we go? There? <laughs> no, yep. no, no, no. The place that I'm looking for is over there. But you have I to see go it. here first. No, you don't. I, I know my stuff. Um, I will need Ting, so use it now. Okay. Just let me get my Deku Leaf. Yay! For 40 rupees, I just got energized. Now, it is my job to run off this and use my Deku Leaf. I should be able to make it. I should be able to make it. Come Can on. Can you see me? Can Come you see on. me? Come on. It's gonna be close. Oh, yes. That was so close. In this chest is, with bated breath, it's the best collectible in the game. A pizza heart. Pizza heart. I've co we've collected three. Only three? Yeah, well, m no, we've collected, this is our third one of the set. Oh. Oh man, now I have to go back to Mr. Boat. I was gonna say, I thought we had gotten more. I have to, Mr. Boat. Can't, can I even reach Mr. Boat? Yeah. Okay, we'll reach Mr. Boat and then we'll leave. Because I would like to do one more thing before I end off the episode, and that is go to Windfall. Because I think that's a better place to end it off than this is. I can't see the King of Red Lions. He's, he's here. I may drown. Oh, King. there he is. King! 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 King. Thank you. Imagine if he had stopped you to tell you something. <laughs> While you were drowning. <laughs> Where's Merman? I saw him right here over here. Oh, there, there he is. is. And we're off. I don't want to bother with Tingle at this point. I would just like to leave because now that we have gone to Great Fish, the entire world is under the effects of a gigantic storm. So we're going to be heading over to Tingle Island. Or no, that's not the island I wanted. Because it has something for us there. A really cool thing. And we've also never been to Tingle Island before, so we might as well get that knocked out. And we did get an invitation not too long ago. Yes, we did. So we're going to be honoring that invitation. Come on, go up here. And I'm just going to be getting this treasure, and then we will start heading to that island. And we'll probably end it off there, since I'm pretty sure we're getting very hefty on time here. Yeah, we're getting close. So I just want to get this chest, and then we'll move on. Now, the... The main reason why I'm not posting the treasure charts of these on screen is that they're not necessary. The only ones that are, are the pieces pieces of heart. I even, at one point, I considered going for 100% in um, treasure charts, but I just decided that's not required for actual true 100%. And really, all it's giving you is, are rupees. You know? Yeah. So it's it's best if I do this. Do it this way. So, Nova, since this is your favorite part in the game, you must be loving this. I am. The music is absolutely fantastic. And I'm glad that it's going to last an episode and a half, maybe yeah. more. I mean, this this music is a remix of the normal uh, the normal Great Sea music, or the theme, but it's all it also throws in Ganondorf's theme from the previous games in there. Yeah. Which is, it's just a good touch. It's also touched upon in Minish Cap, um, Four Swords Adventure, Adventures for the... Um, whatchamacallit, the Wii GameCube. Um, so it just, it is really cool. So, can we name that shark that just appeared? I would like to name him something. Ooh, okay. Um, I would like to name him. I would like to name him Gerard. No, I have a better idea. I would like to name him Steven. You know why? Because that shark, its official name is Georg. Oh my word. <laughs> Please, can we do that, Steven? Okay. Okay, so Steven was harassing us. Steven Georg. How rude. 
Uh, salty about me beating him at Mario Kart. <laughs> okay, I'm. You guys could pause the video or put it in slow mo for that text, but. Wow. Oh wait, we should wait. We're not going here yet. Uh, where's the? Where is our destination? Wait a minute. Wait, I found it. Found it. Found it. Yep. There yeah, it is. we found it. Finally. Man, that was an ordeal. Is it where Tingle is? Right. Yes. All right. Tingle spotted it. Thank you, Tingle. Well, I should hope so, since it's right next to his own island. Lifesaver Tingle is a lifesaver. Okay, let's get over there. Uh, okay, I'm, I am heading the right way, right? You were further away. <gasps> I see one right there. Right there. Kay. Okay, okay. Wait, Um, I see which direction you're looking. Okay, do it. And go over okay, there. Okay, I'm marking the rough area. Finally. Okay, zooming out. It's right there. Okay. I am not crazy. I see see I see goals. Get it? Yes, I, I get it. Okay, I'm over here. You're gonna spot it again. They're gone. Where did they go? What is this witch doctory? Okay, this way. Am I heading towards it? Yes, you are. Okay. To left a little bit. Wait, wait, I see him right here. Oh, okay, here I went too far and All now right. I'm right here. All right, this is a big octo. Finally, it's essentially a boss, and this one's pretty special. Uh, if we attack it with our boomerang, we will be damaging its eyes, and that is how we are supposed to kill it. Each eye will take two hits, which we need to do quickly because this, I think this octo has the most eyes of any of them. And the vortex will suck it, suck us towards its mouth, and then it will eat us, and it's a game over. Yeah, right? it, it, no, it's not a game over. It warps us to another location, and we lose hearts. This, this guy's dangerous. We do not want to be sucked in here. So hopefully I can kill him in time, and it looks like I'm doing a bang-up job of doing that already. Okay, let's just target all the eyes. You don't have to worry about the boomerang bouncing off anything. It's really just however many times you can use it and how quickly. Oh, boy. Come on. Good. You have ages. I've only failed one of these challenges once. I failed a couple times. This this guy is the hardest one, and that's what worries me. Okay, please kill him. I actually didn't know until now that they had different amounts of eyes. Come on, can you bomb? Can you bomb? I might. Start bombing, because I am too close. I am way too close. Start bombing. I bomb him. A little bit off. Come on. Is that the last eye? No. Okay, here's the last eye. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! I think I, I was totally missing. You were, but it, it gave me a little bit of comfort. Huh. Gross. You've had years left. I, I'm not so confident about that. But for defeating this big Octo, we get a treasure. What is that treasure? Find out. No, not next episode. I'm getting, I'm getting my reward. Let's just cruise on hard over there. Hard-earned reward. Very hard-earned, because it's a good reward. Oh, man. Oh, man. First try? Yeah. First try will net us. <laughs> net us. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm, I'm just too hooked on puns. Oh. <laughs> you don't want me to get started on water puns, because... I, they're too good. He'd blow you out of the water. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Nova, you should say a pun. What are you waiting for? <laughs> okay, that is going to be it for this episode. As soon as we get back to Tingle Island, this is the Shinobi pose. Lucky. Thank you guys so much for, for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then post a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. Next time, we're going to be exploring the intricacies of Tingle Island. What has science done? And uh, we, you can join us for one of those episodes on a Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. Join us next time for Nova's episode, less confusion, and more awesome. And lots of story stuff. See you guys then.